Hi everyone. Today I will show you the upper body challenge. This upper body challenge starts with chest and tricep muscles on the first day. The second day is bicep and back muscles and you alternate throughout the 30 days. Let's start with tricep extensions. Start by bringing your elbows under your shoulders. So you're always starting in the down position. Your abs are tight. You straighten your arms, then bring your elbows back down. If you're just starting, this will be a really challenging move. I suggest bringing one arm up at a time if you're not able to bring both arms up at the same time. And or you can bring your hips back and then bring your arms up. See if you can bring both arms up if you have your hips back. Next we have push-ups. There are three levels of push-ups. You can do level one, level two, or level three. Level one is for someone just starting out. You bring your chest down to the ground, then push back up. If you can't go all the way down, that's okay. Go as far down as you possibly can. As you get stronger, or if you're already stronger, bring your hips down, your body is at an angle to the ground, I'm tightening my abs, come down as low as you can. On either of those push-ups, go as far as you can where you may maintain form and then push back up. It's okay if you're not able to go all the way down. As you get stronger, that's where you want to challenge yourself and go even lower. Level three is on the feet, keeping a nice tight plank position all the way up and down. There are other variations to a push-up. As you get stronger, you can always move up to even more challenging variations. The third exercise that would be day one are dips. Fingers pointed toward your feet. Your elbows go straight back. You're extending, you're bending your arms and then lengthening them. Keep in mind, this is an arm workout. Your hips will move only because your body is moving down, but it's about the arms. The arms need to be going straight back. If that's too much of a challenge, you could stay seated and lean back like this. So I'm seated, but I'm still bending my arms, pushing them straight and getting a great tricep workout. Next, we'll do the biceps. The workout starts, well, one of the exercises is a sumo squat with a hammer curl. My legs are wide in a wide squat, toes pointed out to the side, bringing the weights up, and you notice the ends are pointed up to, this, up to the sky or up to the ceiling. We also have bent over rows. Very important that you watch your form in a mirror Hinge forward. Between the crown of your head and your tailbone is a straight line. Lift the elbows up, squeeze the shoulder blades, hold for a second, then slowly bring it back down. Many times people can use heavier weights with bent over rows and bicep curls a lot of the time. And you just want to make sure you're challenging yourself but with good form. The last exercise is bicep curls and I'm going to challenge you to do that with a squat. So down in the squat, up with the bicep curl. Down the squat, up with the bicep curl. As you go through the days, it's gonna get more challenging because there are more reps. If you feel like you're not able to perform all the reps with the weight that you started with, you could always start with a heavier weight and as you burn out, go down to a lighter weight or you can do the number of reps in just sets. So let's say you have to do 40 repetitions. You can divide that up, let's say four sets of 10, if that is more doable for you. Always make sure to warm up before the workout starts, cool down after the workout. You always want to stretch. And I hope you enjoyed the workout. You can email us at info, I-N-F-O, at the Bootcamp Girl.